We're always looking for a car that runs clean and cheap. Well, we're going to show you now a car that's primary exhaust is air. That's because its main fuel is air. And let's face it, air is plentiful and pretty cheap. Here's Jay Ingram with a car that's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that one. Fueling your car costs a lot more than it used to. But wouldn't it be better if it didn't? There's a new kind of car set to hit the market in France that promises to go easier on your wallet and on the environment. What is good in these kind of cars is that they are going to be pollution-free. Guy Negre of Motor Development International, MDI, invented the air car. It's a small car with a big claim. Zero emissions when used for city driving. So what's the secret? Oh, well, secret, secret. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Actually, it's called CAT, compressed air technology. One of the special devices of our car is the tank. The tank has to be very light, because the car has to be light. And this technology that we are using is used also for the shuttle. The lightweight tanks are made of carbon fiber and hold more than 52 gallons of air at a pressure of 4,351 pounds per square inch PSI. On this amount of air, the car can travel 93 miles in the city. The air is forced through an injector to the engine where it expands, pushing down on pistons that turn the crankshaft to power the car. The engine is also specially designed. So this kind of engine can work with very low rev. Uh, for example, on the bench right now, we are running at something like 200 revs, but we can run the engine at very low revs, but for us it's not so important because uh, we're going to stop the engine at the traffic light. We don't want the air to be used for nothing because the engine can start very easily. We need less than one rev to start the engine. The engine's design allows multiple engines to be joined together, giving a car more power, which means each air car model comes with the option of a two, four, or six-cylinder engine. These cars will also be a breeze to fill up. If you fill the tank, plugging the car on a normal electric plug, you will fill it in more or less four hours. And here in Europe, that's going to cost about one euro fifty. One point five euros equals one dollar and ninety five cents. The second way is to pull up to a high pressure air pump as you would a gas pump. Then it takes a mere three minutes to fill your tanks. And in this case, we don't exactly know the price because we have to design this air station. But we can imagine that the cost will be increased by 50 to 60 percent. So we may pay something like two to two and a half euros for one charge. That's about three dollars and 26 cents. And remember, you can travel 93 miles on that. To go to the same distance in a gasoline-powered car these days would cost you about ten dollars. Right now, there are a couple of car models in the works. The Mini Cat is a small car of three places, 2.65 meter long, and it has a very huge place inside. We've developed this car with all the technology inside of the car, which is under the floor. Like this, you can have a huge trunk for a small car, which is more than 700 liters, which is like a limousine trunk. There's also the City Cat, a six-seater sedan that could be the taxi of the near future, and a compact truck. Even industrial machines can be powered by the CAT system. The technology is ideal for city speed limits, 40 miles an hour or less. At those speeds, the car runs solely on compressed air. And the only exhaust is cold air, which can be rooted back into the car to power the air conditioning. At higher speeds, however, it still has to run on traditional fossil fuel. Still, for densely populated urban centers, the air car is a clean alternative to today's vehicles.